Welcome to Empower You Nola, y'all. So you know it's story time Sunday, everybody's favorite. But I'm going to switch it up this time. So this time, I'm going to play an old video from Nightwatch that I was on. Um, and what I'll do is I'll break it down. People never get the chance to really know the backstory of, um, you know, what happened that day or um, if the police officers knew the, the victim or anything like that. Like, you don't get to really see that on the news or on TV shows. So what I'll do is I'll break down our last video um, that we had on Nightwatch. safety and well-being of the kids so we call for medical attention and how they make sure the grandmother gets a call from him he's around the corner so once again y'all i'm gonna break down uh police procedure or the mindset of a police officer all right so when I first got there, I'm thinking, you know, I'm, I got to make sure everything's safe. Everybody's safe. Cool. So now I'm looking for the guy that bit the baby in the face. Um, I need to be able to talk to him. I need to be able to see what his story is. I don't want to do it at a later date. I don't want to have to go put out a warrant and then go catch him later. I don't want to do that. I want to talk to him now. So I was able to get on the phone with him. When I got on the phone with him, it was all good because I was able to talk him back into coming back to the house. So it all worked out. Let's continue watching. Justin actually starts talking to him. Little girl inside, she got a bruise to the right cheek. Okay. You must be going to look for her. Hello? Yeah. Luckily, the mom, she let me talk to him on the phone. And it just so happens that he's walking the street at the same time. Mr. Baby, come here. So I'm saying you can't leave. You got to talk to us. You got to let us know what's going on. So come back and tell him. Come here, big dog. Hi. So as I'm walking out the house, I'm on the phone with him. Um, I'm going to actually meet up with him. Uh, my partner, you see him following me. He wants to make sure that, you know, I'm not there by myself. Anything can happen, right? He, 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 uh, he's accused of biting a child. He may not want to go to jail, right? So we go find him. I finally fit, find him. It's all respect. It's going to be respect from the, from the very beginning. I'm saying Mr. Baker. I'm saying sir. Everything is going to be respect. So at the end of the video, you see me throw my the fours up. That's me communicating my partner saying, hey, look, we're going to arrest him. We're, going to leave. we're not going to arrest him. We're going to put him in handcuffs. Excuse me. We're going to put him in handcuffs. I'm letting you know what I'm about to do beforehand and just in case he starts fighting. You also see me looking him up and down, looking him up and down to see if I see a gun or a weapon on at this time. So let's finish watching. Real quickly, y'all. So we did a quick pat down. We cannot pull stuff out of his pockets. We can't manipulate his pockets. We're only checking for weapons. We're trying to see if he got weapons. So once again, we can't pull everything out of his pockets. We can't strip search him. We can't do none of that at this point because he's not arrested. He's just being detained. So keep that in mind. So this is a little backstory. Um, we always deal with that house, like the mom, the daughters, um, they always have something going on. So as you see me, I'm trying to pull her away from, you know, doing something that's going to put her in jail. I already had the guy in hand because we're already questioning him. We're already trying to figure it out. I didn't want her to put herself in a situation where I would have to arrest her and bring her to jail. So I'm pulling on her. I'm, I'm trying to calm her down. And, you know, it looks a little chaos, but it's, it's really not because, like I said, I deal with her all the time. And that's a part of community policing, right? Having police in the neighborhood 
where the neighborhood know the police officer, right? So um, when times like this, they could be able to de-escalate de a situation and um, smooth things over so they can go back and do their job. So after being out there for some time, trying to get his side of the story, we wind up having to take him to jail. Our whole goal is really to figure out what was going on. Um, so we wind up having to take him to jail. We got his side of the story. It just didn't match up. So our goal is really not just taking people to jail. It's really helping our community. You know what I'm saying? So they have a lot of officers that's out there for the community. It's not all about uh, locking people up. Um, so shout out to Sergeant Packer. Shout out to Sergeant Walton. Um, Y'all did a good job. Um, but as you can see, their interaction with the little girl, with the mom, is all respect. Miss Sue, ma'am, sir, it's all about respect. Respect is given, right? And, and, and we think we should get respect back because we're giving it. So I hope y'all enjoyed these videos, um, the breakdown of police procedure, police mindset to give you a better insight. Um, see y'all on the next video.